Hello my fellow ants, and welcome to Ant Watch News, where we present weekly news every Sunday on what's been happening in Croydon and London. Squatters who have occupied a pub owned by celebrity chef Gordon Ramsay in central London want to open the Grade IL listed building to people who could previously not afford to visit. It is believed at least six people are occupying the York and Albany near Regent's Park. In a statement posted on social media, the group said it was aiming to set up an art cafe. Hashtag the building is currently up for sale for £13 million price tag. A 22-year-old man fatally stabbed in South London has been named by the Metropolitan Police. Ricard Salusi Alpha was found injured in Felmunger's yard, Croydon, just after 18 o'clock BST on Friday. Members of the public administered first aid before the ambulance service and air ambulance attended, but he died at the scene. A 20-year-old man has been arrested on suspicion of murder and remains in custody, the force said. Three people have been killed and one critically injured after a car with five occupants was involved in a road traffic incident. Police were called at 23 to 6 hours on Sunday the 14th of April to reports of a road traffic incident involving a car at Staples Corner Retail Park. Sadly, three people were pronounced dead at the scene. Two other people were taken to hospital. One is in a critical condition, while the other person's condition has been assessed as not life-threatening. The girls aged 13 and 14 are missing from their homes in Coventry and it is believed they might have travelled to London together. Paris and Chloe could be in the Upper Sydenham or Lewisham area, according to police. Paris was last seen wearing a black fur coat, black school blazer and Nike leggings. Chloe was last seen wearing her school uniform, which includes black trousers, a black blazer, purple tie, black headband, black coat, and was carrying a purple and black flowery school bag. If you see Paris and Chloe, call 999 immediately, quoting reference number PID for 137,282. Roads in and around Croydon have more holes in them than a slab of Swiss cheese, with works being undertaken and then postponed on Colston Road near the Fox Pub and a dangerously deep sinkhole opening up last week on Hartley Hill in Purley. The works on the road beside Colston Common started earlier this month with the objective of improving soakaways that had become ineffective, leading to deep, long-lasting puddling and flooding on the busy road. The works caused extensive diversions for buses between Old Carlston and Caterham and were originally due to be completed by last weekend. Man has been jailed for more than four years after targeting schools, shopping trends and businesses in a hoax terrorism campaign. Gary Preston, 64, sent envelopes containing white powder and threatening letters that caused panic and accusations at some of the venues over a six-week period in 2013. Officers from the Metropolitan Police were dispatched to William Place at 7 p.m. yesterday, April 17, after receiving reports due a fight between men armed with weapons. A second call was made later with reports of two men having been found with stab injuries in Lacey Mews, less than a mile away from the site of the first report. A woman who stalked former One Direction star Harry, Styles has been jailed and banned from seeing him perform for 10 years after she pleaded guilty in court to a charge of stalking involving serious alarm or distress. Myra Cavolho, 35, appeared at Harrow Crown Court, sitting at Hendon Magistrates Court after pleading guilty to the offence on Tuesday, where she was sentenced to 14 weeks imprisonment and subject to a restraining order, a court official said. 
Police have taken down a cyber gang accused of industrial-scale fraud in a series of raids worldwide, including one in Bromley. In total, 37 suspects were arrested worldwide, including at both Manchester and Luton airports, as well as in Essex and Bromley. More than 70 addresses were searched both in the UK and across the world. The arrests were made as part of an international operation tackling large-scale online fraud carried out by the gang's site lab host. Police responded to the incident on Lower Road April 18 at around 9.24am to the crash involving a pedestrian and a car. The London Ambulance Service said they treated a head injury at the scene before taking the 15-year-old to a major trauma centre hospital. Police are awaiting an update on her condition. No arrests have been made as police inquiries continue.